Uh, dear President von der Leyen, dear President Macron, uh, dear Minister, uh, I want to start by thanking the panelists uh, on the, the first panel, actually. Uh, it was a really interesting discussion, and also I want to thank the Polish Minister for facilitating this discussion. Uh, we, uh, the President, we uh, actually discussed at uh, the first round table, they discussed a really important uh, uh, issue, which was dependencies, our technological dependencies on Europe, which is a big vulnerability, especially in difficult times. Uh, so uh, the conclusion uh, that uh, I took for myself is that Europe needs to do more to secure its resilience. From the, it was said from all the panelists. Uh, science is by nature universal. It thrives when ideas and people can circulate freely and inspire each other. It was said by uh, two of the panelists at least, Yasmin uh, Belkait and Mona Nemer. But we also need to develop a certain self-reliance to offer sustainable, crisis-proof capabilities of scientific communities. Today, the panelists put their finger of crucial question. How can Europe end its strategic dependencies in research? And the facts are clear. We rely on foreign satellites to stay connected. We depend on overseas semiconductors to fuel our services and industries. As Meredith Whitaker stressed it, we use artificial intelligence built with other people's data and other people's values. This is not just vulnerability. It is a risk we cannot afford. Science is not only a driver of prosperity, it is a pillar of our sovereignty and our competitiveness. And this was very clear in Christophe Perrier remarks. This is why Europe is stepping up. Because we are running out of time, I was preparing to give a good example of what Europe is doing, like for semiconductors, for example, like for quantum computing, for example, when in 2022, 70 member states in the European Commission put together 100 million euros to develop a network of uh, quantum computing with all European technology, all biotechnology that will support so many projects to save the planet. So I shorten this part because I'm sure that everybody is waiting for you, actually. And on to conclude with this. There is a tangible example of the power of science to bring solutions to heal our planet, to boost our economy, and to save human lives. And it will be most powerful if it join up with business. So we need both, I'm quoting now, choose Europe for science and choose Europe for business, as said by Christoph Fouke, one of our greatest CEO of companies. So I completely agree with you. And Europe is ready to lead. Leaderships come hand in hand with responsibility. And today you touch on one of the greatest responsibilities we face, Europe's role in the research of global public goods. Thank you so much for your attention. Monsieur le ministre, je vous invite maintenant, madame Ursula von der Leyen, à venir vous exprimer ici au pupitre.